The last object we can add in our object toolbar is the ability to add planets to our scene, uh, which is really quite cool. So let's go ahead and click on planet, and it'll automatically add, uh, by default, the moon to the scene. And what we can do is actually go ahead and edit the size of these. And I'm going to set this to camera, uh, so that we're working directly on the camera axes, and I'm going to set this to scale. And now what I'm going to do is grab in the center, and just go ahead and make this a little bit larger. Reposition our camera so we can see this full moon. And I'm going to change this back to move and pull it up just a little bit higher. So now we have a large moon in the scene. It looks really, really cool behind the atmosphere. And it actually looks like it's out into space. Now there's a couple of things we can do to actually adjust this. We can adjust our phase. So of course we can have a full moon. And of course, uh, wanning and waxing. And it also works with different types of planets. Now, by default, it's set to moon, but we also have the ability to add all of the planets, or at least the major nine planets within our solar system. And then, of course, we can load in a custom planet, which means we can pretty much load in any sort of planet we want, uh, create our own, whether in Photoshop or a texture that we render in view. So there's a lot we can do with it. Or, like I said, we can just change it to some of the ones that already exist that are loaded in here. We can change that to Mars if we want. I'll turn that to Saturn, which has some really, really nice rings on it. We also have Uranus, which is quite cool. And then you could just go ahead and edit these, and we can adjust our brightness if we need to. Make them a little bit brighter, a little bit dimmer. And then, of course, the overall softness of our actual planet. So we can make it nice and sharp, or we can make it very, very soft around the edges. So there's a lot we can do with these different planets, and some really really neat effects can be achieved uh, by playing around with these different settings and even loading in your own.